Strange things are happening all around the world with extreme weather events. Hello everyone and welcome back. Thanks for watching Signs and Wonders. Today we are going to talk about some of the worst and most extreme weather events of 2020. Before we begin, please remember to subscribe and give that video a quick like and leave a comment down below. Now the Bible talks about uh, increased distress among the earth in the last days. It talks about signs from the heavens, earthquakes, weather events. So uh, weather events in 2020 cost the world around $140 billion. This year saw large scale fires in Australia and the US and extreme flooding in China, India and Pakistan among other disasters. The record-breaking hurricane season in the Atlantic was particularly costly according to an annual report from UK Charity Christian Aid. When the damage from all of the storms in 2020 Atlantic hurricane season is combined, it adds up to about 40 billion US dollars according to this report. The total cost from the world's top 10 extreme weather events in 2020 was the highest recorded in a single year by Christian Aid. However, the charity has only been tracking the cost of extreme weather events for the past three years. Some of 2020's climate disasters struck quickly, according to the report. These included Cyclone Amphan, a storm that hit the Bay of Bengal in May and caused about $13 billion worth of damage in just a few seconds. Other events lasted for months. Six of the ten most costly events this year took place in Asia. The report said uh, including extreme flooding associated with an unusually rainy monsoon season in Pakistan, China, and India. Although no single disaster is caused by the climate crisis, a growing body of evidence suggests that global heating could be making many types of extreme weather both more likely and more severe. Or, like I think, it's just happening because it said it would happen in the final days. So nothing is going to stop it, it's inevitable. For example, research published this year found that weather such as that seen during Australia's 2019 to 2020 bushfires has become at least 30% more likely since 1900 as a result of human caused climate change. Dr. Andrew King, a lecturer in climate science at the University of Melbourne, Australia, who was not involved in the report said, uh, 2020 was an extremely challenging year with the effects of severe weather events in many cases exacerbated by the ongoing Karani-19 pandemic. Can't even say those words because of YouTube and their agenda. Severe floods and tropical cyclones have impacted different regions of the world and for several of these events, particularly heat waves and wildfires, there's evidence that human-caused climate change has contributed to their severity. The report also highlighted the occurrence of unusually severe locust swarms in East Africa and its surrounding regions this year. From 2019 into the first months of 2020, locust swarms the size of entire cities swept through countries in East Africa, the Middle East and Asia, leading to extensive crop damage. This mouse is so loud, every time I click it, you guys can probably hear it. While well, I'm editing this video, you'll probably hear click, click. So, sorry, I don't know. This isn't my normal mouse. Anyway, the report estimated that the locusts caused at least 8.5 billion worth of damage in East Africa alone. Ready for the click? Some researchers have suggested that these swarms are linked to the climate crisis. Yeah, of course they will. This is because the Middle East and East Africa regions saw unusually severe rainfall and storm activity in 2019. This rainfall caused lush vegetation to grow in the Arabian Peninsula, giving locusts a place to gather, eat, and then multiply. However, there are also other reasons why locusts were able to spread, such as a lack of early detection and removal. Dr. Kat Kramer, a report author and Christian Aid's climate policy lead, said, whether it be floods in Asia, locusts in Africa, or storms in Europe and the Americas, climate change has continued to rage in 2020. It is vital that 2021 ushers in a new era of activity to turn this tide. India floods at least 157 dead and hundreds of thousands evacuated as monsoons lashes region. Just recently, India was hit hard, guys. Seasonal rainfall batter Indian states as scientists sound alarm about climate change impact on extreme weather. 
At least 157 people have died after the monsoon caused flooding and landslides in the Indian states of Kerala, Karantaka, and Maharashtra, according to the state authorities. While the rains temporarily eased on Monday, hundreds of thousands of people remained in relief camps after being evacuated over the weekend. The water inundated more than 1,000 villagers and parts of a World Heritage Site destroying bridges and causing dams to reach their full capacity. Authorities cancelled train services in several flood hit areas while key highways and roads were damaged or cut off by the flood. The monsoon or summer rainy season hits India, China and Southeast Asia every year between June and September, affecting the lives of over a third of the world's population. You know, God bless the Lord. Like, how lucky are we to live in a Western nation? I don't know where most of you guys live. I'm assuming in the United States. I live in Canada. We have it really good over here in the West. I thank God every day for being born in a Western civilization. Um, in India, it accounts for nearly 80% of the year's rainfall, providing a lifeline for agriculture and drinking water stocks, but also routinely bringing death and devastation. In the southern state of Kerala, at least 57 people died in rain-related incidents, authorities said on Sunday, while some 165,000 people were taken to over 1,300 relief camps throughout the state. Damages from winter storm in Texas could approach $50 billion? Wow. A little closer to home now, guys. The cost of the devastating winter storm in Texas could end up costing the region close to $50 billion to recover from. It has been estimated. Like, that's a lot of money. The extraordinate figure would cover the cost of lost wages, repairing damages to businesses and people's homes, as well as the cleanup cost in and around the state, according to forecasters AccuWeather. Its chief meteorologist, Jonathan Porter, said, the, estimo the estimates denotes the historic magnitude and just how much of a life-threatening crisis this has been for people in the Southern Plains, the Southeast, and especially Texas. He described the crisis as yet another setback for businesses that don't need it in a very challenging year, adding that the recent storm was the worst cold front in Texas since December 1989. The bad weather left more than 3 million Texans without power after an increased demand for heating overwhelmed its energy grid. Most of those affected by the blackout have now had their power restored, according to Business Insider, as the state was caught unprepared to deal with such a significant cold snap. AccuWeather also reported many homes and businesses were left reeling from serious damage after freezing cold temperatures caused water pipes to burst. Texas effectively operates on its own power grid, which makes it difficult for the state to access power from other areas that are not experiencing blackouts. Well, that doesn't sound too effective to me. It is understood that homeowners have been left facing staggering energy costs to heat their houses after the blackouts, with wholesale electricity costs surging to over $9,000 per megawatt hour, up from 50 bucks. $50 to 9,000, that's like, that should be criminal to do that to people. You know, guys, when we start seeing hyperinflation like this happen, there's no telling what will come from this. What do you think would happen if bread all of a sudden went up to 500 bucks a loaf? Hyperinflation happened before really bad, I'm in Germany I believe, and a cost of a loaf of bread back then went up to like one month's wages. Yeah, so like, let's just hope and pray something like that never happens here. Thank you all for watching, please remember to like and subscribe, hit the bell and turn on your notifications, that way you guys won't miss us when we go live. Um, God bless you and your families, and I will see you guys tomorrow.